Hello and welcome to this Lumion tutorial. In this video, we'll quickly walk you through the main areas of the software and show you how fun and easy it is to get to grips with. Using the built-in templates, we'll also show you how we can start from scratch and obtain some great looking results in just a few minutes time. Let's get started. When you first start Lumion, you'll notice the welcome screen, which provides some quick links to different functional areas of the software. You'll find templates and example scenes that you can use to play around and test things with, hardware benchmark information, and so on. Lumion also contains a series of tutorials that will help you to navigate the software, show you how to work with 3D assets, and learn the basics of creating photo and video renders. For now, let's select the Suburban template and we can dig right in. Feel free to open the template yourself and follow along with this tutorial. It's important to note that Lumion is a rendering software, so you are going to have to import a 3D model from your modeling application of choice. And our template here is a basic model of a building and a courtyard. Now a quick note, whether you use Rhino or any of the other supported applications, we recommend that you get used to using the LiveSync plugin. LiveSync is a very popular time-saving feature that enables you to model and render in real time. You can import a model with a single click and then, as and when you need to make changes to your 3D model, Lumion will update and visualize those updates in real time. This makes it much easier to stay present within your design workflow and limit the amount of back and forth you need to have between applications. Once a model is imported, you can modify the geometry and a second later, Lumion will display the modifications. A nice and handy feature of Lumion is that the software recognizes the naming of the 10 most commonly used materials and will automatically assign them to your model. That helps us to save some time and get working on the details much quicker. Let's take a look at the UI for a bit. Now the space where you imported your model is called Build Mode and this section is divided into four areas. Content Library, where you can browse through the library and imported models. Material Mode, where you can modify the materials on your models. Landscape Mode, where you can change the Lumion terrain and weather mode, which gives you control over the environmental conditions. The other areas to explore should all be quite self-explanatory, and they are divided by the output that they produce. Photo mode, movie mode, and panorama mode. Now, since we've already imported our model, let's jump into photo mode, and here we can set the composition or camera angle that we'll be working on to create our first render. In photo mode, you can easily navigate around the model to find the perfect angle to showcase your design. Then, when you're ready, click the store camera button to lock that view in. Now that we have an angle to work with, let's add some context to the model. The Lumion Pro library comes with over 6,000 assets that you are free to use within your projects. Now we're going to use the single placement tool to add some shrubs onto the landscape around our model. To quicken things up, the Mass Placement tool is perfect for adding some diversity. We're going to pick a range of items, add them to the Mass Placement list, and then we simply click on one side of the landscape and onto the other. And when working, feel free to use the Context Menu tools to edit the size, position and rotation of your placed models. And if you want to be incredibly precise, use the Gizmo to move a particular object or click and drag around the insertion point. Let's now add a few pieces of furniture into the garden. Something like this seems to work. As you add more context to your scene, it's important to keep things well organized. Now be careful not to overdo things, scene management is important. So here's a few quick pointers. The easiest way to keep things clean is to organize your objects or assets onto separate layers. Give each layer a name, then select the objects that you want to add onto that layer and pick its name from the drop-down list. Now you can easily hide or select the items on that layer and you can move items from one layer to another in order to group things more appropriately and it's possible to delete a layer provided that it's empty.
jumping into material mode, we can edit the materials on our model. Now I'd like to make this material pop out a bit more, so let's increase its relief. And on this one here, I'm going to add a bit of weathering for more realism. If you have any materials you'd like to reuse in your projects, you can always save them in your custom material library. Or even better, if you have a series of materials that you know make your projects stand out, you can save them as a custom set to reuse on future projects. Once a material set is saved, you can load it into any project. Lumion will reference the naming of the surfaces from the imported model and add the contained materials onto your model. Now that the project is prepared and we've added some context to it, we're ready to render. In photo mode, let's choose a style and apply it. There are a range of styles in Lumion suitable for different situations. And you can make a huge difference to the result by simply making a couple of tweaks to the sun just to get that perfect shadow. And you can save preferred effects in the same way that you can materials. So, if you really like the effect stack that you've created, save it and apply it in future to other projects. And now, it's finally time to render. Now Lumion keeps this very simple. Click the render button, choose the resolution, and that's it. Now the other modes, movie and panorama, they have some extra options that determine the quality of the image, so keep that in mind when you want to render a draft or a presentation ready file. Now, I think we've done a good job here. Let's take a look at the final image. And remember, we've created this in less than 10 minutes. As I mentioned earlier, Lumion is quick, fun and easy to use. But with a little bit of extra time investment and a few more effects, you can turn a render like this into something like this. In no time at all, you'll be able to create renders as detailed and lifelike as any of those you may have seen from Lumion. No, don't worry, it's not a lot of effort. So what's next? In our following tutorials, we're going to talk about scene building for exteriors, interiors and landscapes and how to bring them to life with Lumion. So stay tuned if you want to get closer to those amazing results in Lumion 2023. Keep practicing.